The silk of the sun. We rock the house. You've seen these California tourism ads, right? So what would you say if instead of offering you a glass of wine, California offered you one of these? Well, believe it or not, it could happen. Because on Tuesday, California residents vote on Proposition 19. If passed, Prop 19 would make it legal for any California resident over the age of 21 to possess an ounce or 28 grams of marijuana. Residents would also be allowed to grow a couple square meters of weed. And California, which is under tremendous financial stress, could tax commercial sales. California dreaming or a reefer madness? I really think it should be passed. Um, it's far too long that we've, we've dealt with these laws. Um, it doesn't help people that are sick. It's your lucky day. So there's just one thing you have to ask yourself. Do you feel lucky? Many Victoria folks are keeping a close eye on California. These women use marijuana for medicinal reasons. It is incredibly useful for nausea. I have not found anything else like, like it to help my nausea. I'd rather have that than to take a pill, you know, that's a chemical, and put that in my body. I have a very strong issue with alcohol and drinking and driving and families that have been constantly destroyed over the years of alcohol, and it is legal to drink. Many of us are really looking forward to California legalizing cannabis and essentially giving the green light to the green rush. Ted Smith runs the Cannabis Buyers Club of Canada in Victoria. Since 1996, they've supplied marijuana to people with disabilities and diseases. The stigma of being criminals and, and deviants and you know, outcasts in some cases um, is going to be taken away. So many questions to be answered if California legalizes pot. How will it affect the gang wars in Mexico and gangs here in B.C.? Why would someone buy pot on the street if they can legally buy or grow it? I have a lot of problems and this helps me, but I don't need to be felt like I'm a criminal. I see the change happening and if Prop 19 happens, it's a watershed moment. Things will never be the same. And what about tourism? What if marijuana lovers zigzag to California instead of here? If there's pot stores up and down the beach in California, I'm telling you it's going to really improve their tourism, which would certainly in any of the near neighbors like us have a negative impact. Even if it's passed, Prop 19 might go up in smoke. The Obama administration warns that, despite the vote, the federal government will continue to enforce federal drug laws. In Victoria, working Dan's beat, I'm Dan Kong. California, find yourself here.